19 episodes, you say. And we have done everything. Essentially. Essentially. I think there is still more to explore, dear Pankirian. There is. Indeed. And there's talking about adding a new biome in the last update, next update, which is the last one. Ah, so in update 5, there's a new biome. No, in update 6. Ah. We're already on update 5. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were in update 5. I just thought you were talking about the last update. Talking about this new update. No, no the last update to ever be updated on an update. Okay. The end and of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you guys were missed anything, hi, I'm Leo Hart. Joined here by Pen Karen. In Welcome this, to Satisfactory. In, in this, in this economy, you do this in this intro. Uh, apparently so, today. Welcome to the Satisfactory Podcast. Uh, this is all you'll get to see for the next 19 <laughs> minutes. Years. The longest video I have uploaded was six hours. We're going to top that today. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to top that by a long shot, only 20 minutes. It's cool, man. You don't know what's cool, man. <laughs> I know what's cool, man. It's called not knowing where I'm at. So. Oh, wait, no. I know exactly where yeah, I am. This is a pretty recognizable <laughs> place. Look, it took a minute to, regis minute to register. <laughs> oh. uh, it, it's been about, like, what, three, four weeks? <laughs> three? Wait, how long did it? It's been two. 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 It's been two weeks since we last recorded three, a Satisfactory yes. episode. <laughs> I believe we're making... No, it's been longer. It's we been really about three to four weeks, and we had, like, some in advance ready to go. We did have that many yeah. in advance? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Because that's the way I wanted to have it go. Wow. And it was just, during the last few weeks, we just didn't have time to record Satisfactory. Yeah. <laughs> no, right. we did have time. We just spent it doing other things. You have finished... Failed, rather, the challenge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, so, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna make that its own little video. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, so in Balloons, I actually finished the Odyssey. Uh -huh. And I had enough trophies to buy the limited edition pet for Pat. It's a little penguin with a hat. Hey. So, my Pat has a penguin with a hat. It's really cool. It has a cat with a hat? It's a penguin with a hat. I'm He's sorry. better than a cat. Yeah, that's not humanly possible. Because he's with Frosty the Snowman. He's Frosty the Snowman. A ra ba 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 ra. A ra a bye and a ra a bye. Everywhere a rabbi. It's true. Alright, are you ready for this BuzzFeed quiz? <laughs> I have a BuzzFeed quiz now. Lay it on me. Where was I going? <laughs> I <laughs> what, don't know. What, what were we doing? <laughs> oh, you needed materials to build the new concrete stuff. Because you have to, like, get iron plates or something. Oh, yeah. And then... Something else. So, uh, you ready for this BuzzFeed quiz, dude? Sh uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Plan your birthday party, and we'll tell you what month and year you were born. You guys are about to find out. Oh, gee whiz. We're about to find out as well. <laughs> I, I, I wonder when I was born. I've always wanted to know that for the last years. And they completely deleted part of my walkway. What? Oh, yeah, no, this whole thing shifted. So this is lower. It didn't delete it. This is just literally lower. Okay. Physically lower. The whole map shifted. Up. Uh, hey. Game. Hey, game. Up. Oh, no. Up. Uh, wait. Look. Hold it there. Then look up. Uh, hey. Look hey. At that. That's stupid. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, thanks a lot, game. Alright. Okay. You now ready? my bridge works. Hey, look. It's Edgar. Yeah. Uh, no. No, that was, uh... Eduardo? That's Eduardo. Yeah, that's Eduardo. Yeah, the other yeah. Edgar. The, uh, Edgar we wrote on. Eduardo. Eduardo the Birdo. Edgar the Rhino. 
Edgar <laughs> <laughs> on the radar. Write um, it down, kids. There'll be a test on Monday. So you're. Uh, am I doing this quiz first, or are you doing this um, quiz first? Let, let's do me, be <laughs> while I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Choose a party location. Your place, a pub, trendy restaurant, nightclub, amusement park, or laser tag. Um. I really want to go with laser tag because I love laser tag, but it's gonna. It's 100% gonna be at my house. Yeah, I was about to say I've been to. That's the only. That that's the only place I do hold it. Yeah, that's the only birthday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, um, how many people do you want to invite? Just a couple, less than five, five to ten. ten Jesus Christ, it's so many numbers. Just, just how many of you do you want to invite? A couple, three, five, ten, twenty, more than thirty. <laughs> Was one of them like ten to twenty? Was that the yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, just about yeah. Ten to twenty. <laughs> ten to twenty. Wow, man! I have that many people. Not when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> who's Who's the one person you desperately want? That's so hilarious, right here. <laughs> you ready? So you got your best friend, your significant other, your crush, a family member, Harry Styles, <laughs> or, or eh, whatever. Well, what's that last option? Eh, whatever. For, like, who I would like to come? Yeah. yeah you know what, let's get Harry Styles. <laughs> Harry Styles. I, I do not know who this man is, but let's get him. Jeez, let's bro. bug him in his day. Alright, you ready? Choose your birthday cocktail. Martini, Cosmopolitan, Manhattan, Mojito, Tom Collins, no thanks. You can't even drink yet. Um, no thanks. <laughs> no th What's the best gift you'll receive? iPhone 7, gaming console, puppy, books, bottle of scotch, no gifts. Socks. Scott, it's Scott. <laughs> no, socks. Socks? Socks. That, that's not an option. Then I'll take books. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> I need socks. It if anyone needs... wants to send me in some socks, we'll leave no we'll leave no address down below for you to ship it to. I have a pair of dirty socks. <laughs> I'm good, man. <laughs> that... born, born size 14 socks. Um, choose a birthday cake. You got, just choose, choose one. It's, there's no descriptor. Okay, so. White with white frosting and some candles centered all around it. A red velvet with a bunch of candles strewn around the top because people were lazy. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> no, the really lazy one is a small one with a bunch of sprinkles on it and only one candle. Hey. Then you got this chocolate cake with chocolate icing all over it. Blue candles on top, and then you have cupcakes with the candles that don't go out if you blow on them. The joke candles. Or you have no cake. I would say the chocolate cake. Alright. Um, what time will the party end? We're going all night. 3 a.m., 1.30, midnight, 10 p.m. Depends on the vibe. <laughs> the vibe, dude. You know what? Midnight sounds reasonable enough. Yeah, well, I didn't go home till t 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I usually don't get home... Don't go home from places until, like, midnight to 7 a.m. anyway. <laughs> yeah, remember that episode we recorded at 6 a.m. that fixed my sleep schedule? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It didn't fix mine. <laughs> no, it did not. How will you end the night? Passed out in an alley, sleeping with my crush. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, dude, I got a crush? Is it a soda? Please. <laughs> Eating pizza and watching Netflix, making out with a stranger, hanging in a park, asleep in my bed. I will end the night sleeping in my bed. <laughs> yeah, please. It you is what I born, do every night. You were born 20 years before you were born in 1991. <laughs> <laughs> in July, which that part's pretty close. Hey, you know? you know what? 
the year. Holy crap, are they up? <laughs> They're old. Right. Look, for my birthdays, I just like to throw a barbecue. That's about it. Play some games, whatever. Choose a party. I've never had a birthday party. Dude, you're missing out on nothing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. From, unless from you go to one, unless you have those people who order bouncy castles, then you're missing out <laughs> on something when you were younger. Okay. That was, uh, my neighbors did that once, and uh, I went over. My brother. On the bouncy castle. Yeah, no, Dragon got a bouncy castle one year for his birthday. And then that same year, I asked my parents for one as well for mine, and I never got one. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I can see where the, all the favorites lie. Disgusting middle child. <laughs> He's so disgusting. He's not the favorite. Perfect. Perfect. Who do I who do I want to bring to my party? Who's the ultimate person? Um this, this one. <laughs> I just chose randomly. What did it land on? Best friend. Okay, best friend. Well, or the oh, oh, you're doing yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Choose your birthday cocktail. Yeah. You know me, man. Just you know. Oh, dude, you love a good martini. Yeah, you know I love. I uh, love everyone in the cadet corps knows you love martinis. A, s a spicy <laughs> margarita while I'm going off to war. All right. What What's the best gift I will receive? Well, I don't know. All I'm getting for Christmas this year is, like, a book, because I'm studying religion, but iPhone 7, please. <laughs> Thank Only you. an iPhone 7? Jeez, how outdated is this? When was this quiz made? 2017. <laughs> Choose a birthday cake. You know what? I'm going with vanilla. Wait. Holy Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was There born... is a use for flower petals now. There was before for colors. Color cartridge. Yeah, that that that's that's normal. I'm going to build a wall. <laughs> and then I am going to paint that wall. <laughs> that or I'm going to just going to paint all my flooring. Green, so I cannot see it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> ultimate play. You know what? When I was born, and what month I was born? Apparently, dude. 1987, <laughs> December. No, <laughs> that's all I gotta say to that man. No. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no I, I thank never you. said no, thank you. <laughs> What the hell? What? What is this recommendation? Okay, so what I did was I bookmarked like a couple quizzes I went like searching for one late sleepless night. And I'm the recommended on these are God tier, so we'll we'll do those in a second. Oh no, you have to paint everything individually now. No. 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 Good thing all my stuff is already painted. Oh, that sucks. Can I paint this stuff? No. No. Alright, so I'll, I'll do this quiz first. Are you ready? Yeah, I think. Can we guess your relationship, whatever the hell that, not relationship status, your relationship based on the hit song you create? <laughs> oh, thank God. Is this going to make me millions or is this going to make me poor living in the dumpster back in an alleyway on my birthday? Both simultaneously. Look at the sun. Look at how different it is. Ah, uh, dude. It's like our actual sun. It's very small, and it emanates a bunch of light. We had a child? <laughs> no. <laughs> you idiot. Alright, what's the genre? We're gonna go rock. What's it about? An experience. What's the vibe? 
I don't know. <laughs> All my parents are dead. I'm Batman. <laughs> That's the one. Chill, exciting, aste aesthetic, sad. Most good rock songs are none of these. So, aesthetic, sure. Who will the rock song feature? Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, Ariana? <laughs> oh, dude, I love Ariel Grande. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel Grande. Ariana Grande, Doja Cat, Ed Sheeran. Well, Billie Eilish is the only one that's talented that makes tasteless music. So we're going to go with that. Will you have concerts for the song in the future? Maybe. Lastly, will this be your only hit or will there be more? I'll release a few. Only time can tell. That's probably a Depends bad. on how much I care. <laughs> Apparently, I am a lovebird. This was for what? This is for deciding... We can guess your relationship based on the hit song you create. Oh, okay. I am a lovebird. That is my relationship. Ah, uh, dude. It is I, lover of birds. Ah, uh, dude, we all knew the bird was... The bird is a word. Level 10 orthonologist. <laughs> I am here. Ah, uh, dude. Quick, pick a genre. You do this quiz now. So what's a genre? Pop, rock, R&B, K-pop, rock. Rock beats paper and scissors. We all know this. What the hell? It's the laws of physics. What is it about? My feelings, love, my best friend, and experience. Um... I would say an experience. It doesn't have to be my experience. It could be someone else. Shrek. Ah, oh, dude. Right. Somebody once told me so. this was copyrighted. Now I'm going to jail. <laughs> What's a vibe? Exciting. Chill. Sad. Aesthetic. Dude, it's gonna be exciting. Who will the song feature? Billie Eilish, Doja Cat, Ed Sheeran, Ariana Grande. I just want a cat in the song. Yeah, Every I know Doja Cat is. Nope. <laughs> Very nice. Modern music sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> will you have concerts for the song in the future? Of course. Nope. Maybe. I'm not much of a concert person. Even masters like Peter Gabriel are pooping out squat. Oh God. Um, will I do concerts? Maybe. We'll see. Perhaps. Perhaps. Ten points from Gryffindor. No. <laughs> Go on. Lastly, will this be your only hit? Or is there more to come? Just this one. Tons more. Only time can tell. I'll release a few more, and then disappear forever. Yeah, that seems like fun to do. <laughs> hey, here's a few more. By the way, I'm out. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Nice. What are you? In a relationship. Hey! Apparently you and I have girlfriends we don't know exist. <laughs> oh, dude. On this episode of Dragon Ball Z. Alright. Which generation do you actually belong in? This will settle the argument once and for all. Are we a millennial or are we Gen Z? Yay, Team Zombie. <laughs> no, brother. All right, I'm going to take this quiz. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this, should I do this first? I went first last time, you wanna go first this time? One of my first? fuses has shut down. Who do you, who do you wanna go first? Huh? Uh... Let's have... Well, since you went first on the last one, I'll go first on this one. This is a long and... <laughs> Oh, God. 
Um, why is this so long? Holy jeez. Like you all said. All the questions. There's like ten questions and they all have ten answers. This will settle it once and for all. All right. Well, here we here go here it goes. You ready? Yeah. Which two descriptors best describe the most awesome parts of your personality? Are you open-minded and social? Wait, what was the question? Which two descriptors best describe the most awesome parts of your personality? This is assuming you think yourself as awesome. A little bit narcissistic there, Quiz. Thank you very much. My open-minded and social, hardworking and ethical, intelligent and secure. Self-reliant and adaptable, innovative and responsible, ambitious and realistic, idealistic and passionate. What? <laughs> what? I'd say I'm pretty, I am pretty open-minded. <laughs> Ungawa question, Ungawa answer. Perfect. Which two descriptors best describe? The absolute worst parts of your personality. <laughs> Anxious and with a short attention span. Rigid and overcommitted. Rebellious and foolish. Self-conscious and reserved. Smug and petty. Entitled and vain. Cynical and angry. Is really stupid an option? <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> that'll be my, that'll be my choice. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna go with anxious and short attention span. Because that's pretty par for the course right now. What are you most likely doing at a party? Honestly, I'm probably hosting the damn thing. Settling into a quiet corner in order to avoid too much socializing. Drinking, dancing, and finding out who I can pen potentially hook up with. Probably hanging out with a close group of buddies and chilling in the backyard. I love making new friends. And chatting with as many people as possible, even if they're strangers. I'm socializing with different groups of friends. Documenting the night through my Snapchat. I'll make a fun appearance, but more than likely have multiple parties to attend in the night. Um... Most likely the king of the hill. Where do you fall on the political scale? Where the hell? <laughs> uh, you got very conservative, somewhat conservative, visually conservative, social liberal, somewhat liberal, very liberal, uh, bleep the government. I care about issues but hate politics. Uh, where is the communist option? I feel like... <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna go with I care about issues but hate politics because I don't know where. What is your personal relationship like with new technology? I'm on the cutting edge and know about every new device on the market before anyone else does. iPhone 20 coming in the next four years. Guaranteed. If you're watching this four years from when this comes out, it's going to be another four years. Guaranteed. What? <laughs> <laughs> I've just accepted it as normal, fun part of my daily life. I'm for sure interested in it, but prefer, prefer playing around with vintage tech. Oh yeah, dude, I love my VHS tapes. My vinyls, VHS tapes. I actually have VHS tapes. Oh dude, my saxophone. Saxophone? My saxophone. What? It's on the cutting edge of technology. <laughs> if it can cut a slice of bread, it can cut a slice of bread. I'm always excited to get the newest models, but I'm honestly always one step behind everyone else. My phone and computer are like actual body parts. I'd feel naked without them. Okay, so cyborg. I love trying out new technology, <laughs> but occasionally like to take a break from it. Where's the eight-year-old computer option with with broken live headset? I don't know, but you could hit me with the newest iPhone, 
and I would have no idea what it was. I'm that out of touch. What are you, 90? <laughs> That's just one of the options. Um, you know what? I just accept it as a normal part of my daily life. I don't really keep up keep up to date on like what the newest like iPhone models is or what newest things come out. I'm just barely getting a computer built. Like just barely. <laughs> I'm curious about the whatchamacallit? The the features it all has. Yeah. How would you describe your religious beliefs? I'm agno... Agnostic. Agnostic. Which is, you not know. religious, but spiritual. I enjoy some sometimes attending service. I have my doubts, but still regularly attend service. Yes, I'm very <laughs> religious. I assume you're referring to Abrahamic religions, and I'm not one of those. I'm an atheist. Okay, what's agnostic? Agnostic is you don't... You don't Believe in God, but you do not deny his existence. So it's your, you're literally neutral. You're like, there could be. There also could not be. And I'm pretty much that. What would you order at a new restaurant for dinner? I consider myself a foodie, so I definitely know exactly what I want walking into any restaurant. I would probably <laughs> consult Yelp or the waiter to see what's most well reviewed anything ethnic I love trying foods that tantalize my taste buds I'm down to eat whatever but I'll definitely be ordering a drink everything I will eat everything <laughs> everything yeah. I usually see what the rest of the group is ordering to determine what I want I tend to have my old standby something delicious and preferably meaty yeah, yeah called steak <laughs> just say Hot. steak they, Everyone orders a steak. <laughs> Everyone orders a steak with A1 sauce. You know, what the hell? Stop Put some tapatio on there. God awful. <laughs> tapatio is god awful sauce. And tap hot sauce on steak is god awful. Y'all suck. I know people that do that too. You, you make me sick. I, I know one person as well. <laughs> Which of the following scenario scenarios are you most scared of? Being surrounded by people who all think, act, and look the same. Not being able to speak my mind. Being surrounded by strangers. Everyone I know hating me. Dying in a plane cl crash or in, or in a shooting. Not being able to finish something I set my mind to. Simple. So essentially... Crappy people in crappy places. So essentially, living in communist China, living in communist China, living in communist China, plane crash... Or just not being lazy. <laughs> like, that's it, huh? That, that's, that's the... Or that's just the, people uh, being... Or, or just crappy people in crappy places. I think that, that's included under Communist China. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. At least the place. Poor Hong Kong. Poor Hong Kong? What? They were a great country. Hong Kong doesn't exist. What do you say? <laughs> well, neither does Australia. Neither does... Taiwan or uh, Canada. Whatever, whatever else the Communist Party says doesn't it? I don't exist. Canada doesn't exist. Canada does. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty communist. Alright, go on. We ran out of presents we took so long. Uh, I think being, being surrounded by people who all think, act, and look the same. So communist China. Yeah. <laughs> And most importantly, which decade would you most want to come of age in? Um, come of age, does that mean just like turn 18? I assume so? <laughs> I don't know. I never heard of that before. I'm going to go with the 2010s. 2010s? 2010s. <laughs> Of all the ages. Well, what were the options? Uh, you got 1940s, 1950s, oh. 60s, 80s, 90s, the 10s, the 20s. They skipped the 70s and the 2000s. I wish that one of the <laughs> options was like 5000 BC. So I could go to Sumerian and add my myself. My, I could add my... 
whatchamacallit, my, my, uh, Pankurian logo as a symbol in their language, and it would be immortalized forever! <laughs> <laughs> so, the generation that I actually, um, uh, belong in is Generation X, aka what? Gen X, How born old? between 1965 and 1980. That's my dad! <laughs> Oh no! You can't. Not Saver. You can't. Yeah. What? What? What do you mean? <laughs> Generation X. You belong to Generation X, dude. Wow. Well. Uh, I shall now take this quiz. <laughs> the go damn the, commies. Go to the calendar. The calendar. Oh my God! You're right. What day is it? <laughs> what day? Is it? What day is it? I forget. Let's see, we got nine. Sure, this one. Seven. Three. Oh, yay, more paint cans. Apparently, I didn't have to craft any. <laughs> Let's see, today is the 18th, okay. It's number five, 15. I have no room for anything, okay. What does self conscious mean? Self-conscious, um, you constantly think about, uh, you're, you are completely aware of every action you make, right. and right. you constantly think about it. I, I guess, sure. But that's just my best guess. Uh, don't take it to heart, um, I'm... Not very smart. Oh, dude, I got some inhalers. You got medical inhalers? Yeah, dude. Great, dude. Found a... My complete accident. <laughs> is, this is British. What is it? What... Uh, no, that... Listen... Hey, bring me back. Six, get back over here. Hey, look, there's five. Never find four. If you're having trouble... Yes, you, you do. But if you're having trouble, you can click on the enter number thing. See, there's 25 there. Oh, hey, look, there's 17. Let's see. Hey, look, there's 10. This in? I don't know. This is how we shall find any numbers we are missing? What is it? What number did I just find? Oh, 11! Wow. <laughs> Neato. Why would you assume you're referring to Abrahamic religions? Excuse me. Four o oh, four o oh, four, where art thou? I need to click on you. Ah, it's in the stars. It's in the stars. No wonder. Man. No wonder they tell me reach for the stars. Ringo Star, Thomas the Tank Engine should have been so clear. You know. This is such a weird thing. Where is the look at the menu online option for ordering food? You're not like like an actual normal human being. Where's the where's the non stupid option? Was well, I hey, Dumbo? I'm over here. I went to this fancy restaurant with my aunts and uncles for Thanksgiving, or the day before Thanksgiving. Lucky you. And I got uh, beef stroganoff. And it was delicious. It had traditional 
everything. It was got okay, one, on two, it. three, got four, everything. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Everyone I sixteen, know hating me. Everyone I know does hate me. <laughs> Seventeen. And then eighteen. Okay, I found all the ones for up to so far. Good to know. I mean, so little and do not care. You know, I love how literally all these options are wars. Like, that's literally, it's the 2010s and 2020s are the only ones where you're not brought up with conscription laws. <laughs> or, and, and the 80s, I guess. Ah, uh, dude. Unless you're born in Russia. In which, the Afghans are coming. <laughs> Every day is conscription day in the Soviet Union. It still is today. It's mandatory. They don't say thank you to your veterans, because everyone's a veteran. A veteran of alcohol! <laughs> and war! Mostly the alcohol. The poisoning really gets to him. Well... Ah, considering... my factories, they're being overrun by presents! How old I am... Holy Jesus Christ alive! What did you get? The greatest generation, the 1901 to 1927! <laughs> oh wow! That's when my, my great-grandfather... You got to see the Titanic! That is actually when one of my grandfathers was born. <laughs> nice! <laughs> yes. Uh, one of my grandfathers decided to have a lot of children. <laughs> and they all grew up to be... Adults. They all grew up to be successful, believe it or not. Somehow, they were all dirt poor. <laughs> um, Being dirt poor does that to a man. Well, and then later in life they became dirt poor again. <laughs> uh, but regardless, Being poor does that to a man. Being poor does that to a man. You're right. You're right. What is this book? It's why about? communist China has laws. So like communist China has laws. Yep. Laws against existing? Nope, just laws against this this one tree holding up this gift. Thank you. Santa will not be pleased with you this year, dear Bush. <laughs> what? Santa doesn't like Jeb Bush. You hear, heard it here first. It's all because of the Bush administration. You hear that, folks? Who, it's George Bush Jr. was the shoe dodger, right? No, it was the Clintons. No, the Clintons was the was the funny man's. <laughs> the 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 Bushes was the shoe dodging. Then uh, Obama. Did you was, just call me a funny man? Obama. I'll was, show you who is a funny man. I love memes. And then Carter was. Uh oh. <laughs> Welcome to politics summarized by two two teenagers. All right. Reagan was lol Austrians and lol Soviet Union. <laughs> right. <laughs> what what even you know it never occurred to me oh I need to get a thousand of these tickets pan the golden nut yeah, I know, right? That's what I tried to do. Then I realized it was literally impossible. So, you know what I settled for? Go back to the statues. You know what I settled for? What? Confusing creature. Confusing creature. The best statue. And it sits on my door to this day. A factory cart? Yeah, a factory cart. It's just a little vehicle. Oh, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> this is so trash. You can get the cyber wagon, which is even slower. 
Oh, don't worry. I, I bought stairs. And I'm just going to create a stairwell to heaven. A stairwell to heaven? A stairwell. Okay. Look, just don't bring Lassie. She might fall down. Uh-oh. You know, why does every story, dating back to the ancient Greeks, there's stories about dogs dying? Even Odysseus' dog died after 20 years. Why does every story have a dead or, or dying dog? Get out of it, Disney. I hate you. <laughs> okay. You want to know something we're really screwed on, Leo? Ah, oh, dude. We can guess your relationship status based on the so TikTok songs you choose. Oh, God. Are you ready, son? No. <laughs> Too bad. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, I've never heard of any of these. Already, I don't know any of these. What? How much is this all gonna cost? Okay, only 25? Okay, that's good. I got five more to spend it. Let's see. You know what? We're gonna get these. And then... We're gonna get these. Hey, look! Savern is playing something! What is Monster he Hunter World! Of course. Okay, we're skipping this quiz. This quiz sucks. <laughs> Wait, what in... Take this quiz and we'll reveal which 2019 song you are. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm doing this one first. How would I describe my 2019? Amazing, emotional, hectic, full of new experiences. My dog died. So Wait, what emotional. Year? What year? Or my, my, yeah, yeah, it was my dog, I believe. 2019. Oh. Very sad. How are you feeling about your relationship status? Single and loving it. Single and feeling lowly. Taken and happy. It's complicated. Yeah. Sing single and loving it. Everyone loves to be single. Uh-huh. You know, just all the... The whole theory of the folly of man. You know, just, just being... You know, all those single ladies. Lack of love. You know, just throw that out the window. Uh, who's your favorite music artist? Kanye West. Who's Dua Lipa? And I don't know. Post Malone, Ariana Grande, Kanye West, because I know one of his songs. This is America, <laughs> and I never listen to it. What's your favorite animal? Horse, dog, dolphin, cat, dog. What's your new, what's your favorite show? And you got the thing! Hey, I got the cup! You finally got the trademark cup of mine. <laughs> Guess no. what? No. Now that we got the cup, we're done with this episode. See you guys in the next one. We now have a cup of Joe for the road. Q we outro. We'll reveal the results in the next episode. I'm going to write it down. On the next episode of Completely Unsatisfactory Gameplay. Q outro.